today, I'm a floating head. <laughs> but today, we are gonna be testing out some more $5 kids. But this time, it's gonna be the Squishos, Squishos kids. I have no idea how to pronounce them. I just know that they're squeegee. So, <laughs> we have some squishy kits, and if you guys remember from my last testing kits out, I think this is by the same brand as my slime kits that I tested out. It's by Horizon Group, and I found these at Walmart. So if you want to get yourself some $5 kits, stay tuned to see if they are worth it. Okay, let's begin. We've got four kits today that we're going to test out. We have the Galaxy Kit. We have Rainbow Crunch. Every time I hear this, I think of cereal, like Captain Crunch, but I always think of like Fruity Pebbles. Then we have the Jelly Squishios and the Treasure Hunt one. Uh, so I think to start off, I'm gonna be opening up these three first because on the front it says, add expanding water beads and glitter. So we have to put the water beads in water to let them expand. And while we're doing that, I'll test out this one. So let's open up the kits and see what's inside. First of all, you guys, the kits are so light, it feels like nothing is inside of them. I had to shake it in the store to make sure that I wasn't getting one that had nothing inside because it literally feels like it's just air. Oh, yep, this is all that comes in this ginormous box. Talk about saving the planet. <laughs> okay, so our galaxy one. We have the instructions, and on the box, it says, includes everything you need. And then it tells you everything you need. Let's see if that's real on the instructions. Items needed. Scrap paper, distilled water, vinegar, or antibacterial hand sanitizer. Ah. Uh, Wrong! They didn't, this kit does not include everything you need. I'll tell you what it includes. This kit includes expanding water beads, aka Orbeez. <laughs> Some balloons that look like, they have like little stars on them. Glitter, and then I think this is a funnel. So, that's everything you need, I guess. But you also need a few bowls. So that's what I got. I got a bowl of hot water. We're gonna put our expanding water beads inside of them. And it says to get hand sanitizer or vinegar so that you can keep your squishies like clean and they won't mold after a while. But since we're on vacation, I'm not gonna pack this away at home with me. So I'm not gonna be adding those today. But in case you do get something like this, just know that that's what that's for. All right, I'm gonna put my Orbeez in the bowl. I think Orbeez are so cool. When I was like in ninth grade and I like barely figured out what Orbeez were, they were the coolest thing ever. And it's so crazy because they start off as like these tiny little beads and then they expand and they're so squishy and slippery. They're a lot of fun. And a lot of people put them in like little spa baths or whatever, like pedicure stuff. But they're also fun just to like play with. Okay, so these ones are sitting. Let's open up our other boxes. I don't know which one I'm most excited for. Probably the treasure hunting one because that's always super cool. But I feel like they're gonna be kind of messy, especially the jelly squishy. I feel like that's gonna be a messy kit. This one feels way more heavier than the other ones. Why is that? Let's open this up. Comment down below which kit you think will work the best or which one you like so far. Which one do you think is the cutest? I hope these crafts turn out well. So I'm not really a crafty person, but if they're $5 and they come with instructions, I should be able to figure them out, hopefully, crossing my fingers. Whoa, this one has the rainbow pack. All right, we're gonna stick these in. And I think the reason why this package was heavier was because they actually came with these beads. Every time I see this, all I think of is like the DIY necklaces that you used to make when you were really little or like when you put beads in your hair. That's all I can think of. 
Okay, adding in my four of these. This one's gonna be a fun one. It's this rainbow. Do you guys ever talk so much that your throat is hurting? Like I just barely start this video, but my throat is already sore. <laughs> Why? Perks of being a YouTuber. <laughs> we got our water beads. They're becoming like fuzzy. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like show you guys because the water's gonna spill everywhere. But the beads are becoming a lot more fuzzy. Whoa, these balloons are not see-through. I wonder how this is gonna turn out. Would you be able to see anything inside? <gasps> what? I've never seen clear water beads before. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. My Orbeez are setting. I think by the time we finish this kit that they will be about ready. So I'm gonna put those off to the side and let's get started with our treasure hunt box. So if you guys aren't subscribed to that YouTube family, make sure you subscribe. But um, on that YouTube family, we do a lot of treasure hunting videos or like bandits adventures where we try to find like a bunch of like treasure on a treasure map. So I feel this is giving those good vibes. Reminds me of a lot of our bandits videos. And they're really cool, it's a series, so you can go binge watch them if you haven't seen them. All right, first one. Ooh. Okay, so they come with a lot. They come with four balloons, so you can make four. But I think I'm only gonna make one today. Oh no, the dreaded sand. Wait, this isn't sand. This is instant snow. <gasps> what? Okay, if you put snow though in slime, it always ruins it for me. Snow and slime do not mix well. I mean, I think there is like a type of slime called like snowy slime or whatever, but every time I put in like snow, it makes my slime rippy. All right, so first step is you attach the balloon to the funnel so that everything can pour in nicely. You're supposed to measure a half teaspoon for each thing, but I don't really want to go get a teaspoon. I don't know if there's one in this house. So I'm gonna just eyeball it because I'm a chef, not. How much is half a teaspoon? I don't know. Okay, so now let's add in our glitter. Glitter time. Gertie would love this. Oh, I added like the whole silver bag. Oh, and by the way, if you hear like ticking noises in the background, I'll pause for a second. It's because there's a clock right over there and it never stops. So when we're sitting at the table all day just like editing or doing whatever we do and eating, the clock just keeps going. <laughs> it reminds me of like Captain Hook and Peter Pan, you know, the crocodile. It's like, sounds like a clock when he's coming towards you. Pour it in the gold glitter. All right. Let's add in our gemstones. So it says to add in 15 of them, but I'm not gonna count 15 gemstones. So we're just gonna add in however many it desires. AKA like the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so now that I have all my fun stuff in this bag, I have to fill it up with water. I hope this works out. Like I really want it to look super cool. Oh, okay, now what? Oh, whoa, what? What? It's so small. <laughs> Why does this look so weird? It just looks like I put a bunch of dirt in here. <gasps> the snow swallowed up the water! <laughs> okay, well, it all worked out in the end. Now I have to tie and create a secure knot. Yeah, got it. And then it says to give your screw shows a Finish look, it's best to trim the rolled edge, but be sure not to cut too close to your knot as it could break your stress ball. Oh, where's the scissors? Okay, I just barely cut it, and I think I kind of went overboard with the instant snow, because this one is definitely a snowball. But this is our final product for the treasure hunt one. And not as pretty as I thought it would be. <laughs> Compare the box, to the actual product. <laughs> Definitely photoshopped, <laughs> but I tried my best. 
This is, I mean, I guess it, it does work like a stress ball. So, I mean, for that factor, check. But if you want to go for cuteness, nope. Uh, this one is definitely, I don't know. I wouldn't be like proud of this one because it's just this, it's just snow mostly. And then you can't even see the gems inside of it. And then there's like a little bit of like glitter here and there. So this one, I would say, Sadly, thumbs down for this kit. Let's move on to the next kit. Up next, we are gonna work on our Galaxy Squishy Stress Ball. So this one is cool because the balloon actually has stars on it. Switch it from the last round. And I'm pretty sure the instructions are gonna be pretty much the same. You just fill it with whatever the kit comes with. To be honest, do you really need to spend $5 on this kit or could you just find the balloon at your house and make your own? Like you could just grab whatever supplies that you have. I bet, I bet you guys will have glitter somewhere in your house, or maybe Orbeez or gemstones or whatever. And you could fill this up with literally anything and make your own DIY squishy. But these, I guess, would be fun for like a birthday gift. I don't know. All right, let's fill it in with some glitter. All right, so now we gotta pour in our water beads. They're not super ginormous, but they are definitely bigger than they were when I put them in. Ta-da! So, we're gonna add in a few of those. I'm excited for the Galaxy one. Galaxy is always like super cool, and I like space themed stuff, so I'm hoping that this one works out better than this one. Now I'm gonna add in some of the blue. I got the purple. Orbeez feels so cool. These ones are like interesting though, because, wow. You can see like how textured it is. Oh, bye-bye. Yeah, but they have like little bumps on them. It looks like one of the like science atoms, you know? I already have a feeling this one's gonna be way cooler than the last one. This one is special though because it says to let your squish ball sit for one to two hours so that the Orbeez will expand before squeezing it, but I'm not gonna wait one to two hours for this. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Oh, good luck rubs, good luck rubs. Okay, ready? Ooh, the sound. Wow. <laughs> I, I wish they were bigger. I think they would be bigger when they expand though. Maybe I'll do an update time at the end of the day to see what they actually look like. This is what it is. Basically, it's just a balloon filled with water and random stuff. But this one already feels a lot nicer than this one. This one, it feels like you're squishing like sand or snow, I guess, cause there's like fake snow inside. And this one, it, like you can feel the water beads moving around and it's a lot more squishy. So this one, so far I give a bigger thumbs up than this one. But yep, there it is. I'm pretty sure the other ones are gonna look like that too. We shall see. Okay, up next, I'm so excited for this one because it just reminds me of Gushers, the candy. <laughs> just by the way they like made the picture. It reminds me of Gushers. So let's start on this project. I think I'm gonna pick red balloon because red is my favorite color. So you get this and you basically just pour the expanding water beads in it, which are the clear ones. These ones are really cool. Oh, they're clear. The funnel actually does wonders, guys. I say as it gets stuck. So this one is basically a balloon and Orbeez. Ready for the big reveal? Squeech. Okay, this is, are you serious? I would be way more impressed with this product if it was see-through like the picture. So this is expectation versus reality. <laughs> Basically a red balloon. I wish it was so much more see-through. Why? This one I'm also gonna give a thumbs down. Okay guys, I hope the last one brings me back faith in humanity. Please, Rainbow Crunch, prove me wrong. Be better than your siblings. Okay, so this one has the rainbow Orbeez and also has the rainbow beads. This looks like cereal. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> okay, this is even way more cool than the one that I showed you previously. Yeah. 
They're so tiny. <gasps> this one, like an already tell, is gonna be way better because the balloon is see-through and you've got the pop of color. So I'm already so excited for this. Definitely, I was not expecting this one to be the winner. But I have a strong feeling it's gonna be the best one, the best kit. And now I'm gonna pour in my beads. This one I think is me really cool because it's squishy from the Orbeez, but also it has like the crunchy hardness from the beads. And so it's just gonna be like a little fun combination. Whoa, that sounds so interesting. Okay. It's like a maracas. Yeah, okay, this one is definitely the best one. I mean, it kind of looks like just a blob of like random little rainbow splotchies. <laughs> best way to describe something. But when you squeeze it, it's way more clear than any of the other ones we've ever seen. And I don't know, it's just so fun. So this one, even though it doesn't look like the Photoshopped box. It's still the best one in my opinion. So, all in all, let's show them all side by side. This is the Rainbow Crunch. This one is the Jelly Squishy. Definitely doesn't make any sound. This one is the Galaxy one. And then this one is the treasure hunt. <laughs> this one doesn't feel like anything. It's just really squishy. It definitely has like, doesn't have the water feel. It's the sandy feel. So I'm gonna rank them from favorite to least favorite. So I have to say, this one is my favorite. This one, I guess is the most worth it if you were to buy a kit. And the second one up is the galaxy one. Third one, uh, probably the treasure hunt. <laughs> and then fourth, jelly. Because jelly is just a balloon and water beads. So I don't think that's worth $5. All right, you guys. So that is testing out the Squishios kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And vote in the polls. Do you think that these $5 kits are worth it or not? For me, I would say, sadly, probably not worth it. But there are some other kits that I'm going to be testing on this channel of the same brand. So tell me in the comments down below if you would like to see them. And also make sure that you subscribe so if they do go up, that you will be notified. And ring the bell to get the notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!